Hey, how's it going, Dub? This is your host, Lucid Vision. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. And today we are here to talk about the best hunting spot in Red Dead Redemption 2. Of course, it's the Wild West, so everywhere's a good hunting spot. But this particular spot happens to be my favorite. Now, before we get straight to it, I just want to clear some things out real quick. Uh, in one of my last videos, uh, Why John Never Talks About Arthur Morgan in Red Dead Redemption 1, I received at least 100 comments saying shit like, uh, Well, it's because he never talked... Uh, Arthur Morgan didn't exist in Red Dead Redemption 1. Yeah, okay, I said that in the first 40 seconds of the video, if you'd actually watch it. Just want to clear that up, because that was getting really annoying. I mean, I understand I'm not good at explaining shit, but come on, you should at least have 40 seconds to be patient with me. But whatever the case, let's get to the video. Thank you for watching, Doug. Be safe. So anyhow, this is the location on the map where the best hunting spot is, at least to me. Shut the hell up. But anyhow, it's out in tall trees in a little cabin area. And I'm going to show you exactly why this particular spot is a great spot, okay? So here we are at the cabin. So basically, you got this whole cabin, alright? You can, you've got a lot of hunting options out here and a lot of convenient, uh, you know, things that, things that are very convenient on a hunting trip, okay? A cabin's one of them, but that's just not, that's not all, okay? Over here, uh, we got ourselves a little canoe. Yes, a canoe. See, there's a lake right out here. Not only is this a good spot for hunting animals, but it's a great spot for canoeing and hunt, uh, or fishing. Yes, fishing, sorry about that. So anyhow, you can get out your fishing rod, uh, do your little techniques, whatever it is with your fishing rod, and, uh, you can catch yourself some great fish. Of course, use uh, some good bait and all that good stuff. Yeah, uh, you can catch some pretty nice fish out here with the proper bait, you know, catch nice fish like this one right here. And of course, when you're done fishing, you can go do, uh, well, some other shit, like, well, we'll get to that. So of course, whenever you're not fishing, you can finally get to your hunting, unless you want to do that for uh, first, however the hell you like to do it. You know, you can catch yourself maybe a couple of uh, little squirrels or some other shit. Uh, go up the top of this mountain right here. It's right, it's a, the, the hill right in front of the uh, cabin. You'll see right here. See, this is where you'll spot a lot of deer or, or some elk or even some other animals, okay? You'll spot all sorts of animals up here, even things like little wild, uh, wild turkeys. Uh, uh, you know, you'll spot all sorts of shit up here. And, uh, of course, uh, you, you, uh, these medium-sized pelts, the ones you can put on your horse's ass and all that, you can stock up on those. Like, those are the main things you want to get because you can stock up, like, I don't know if there's a max, I'm sure there is, but I know you can carry a lot on of those sort of pelts, like deer pelts, wolf pelts. Uh, those are the ones you want to stock up the most on, but just don't try to make a mistake like this. Shit. However, I don't really have a whole lot to say, but go out uh, further out west of the cabin, you can spot some more animals. Right here, you're gonna see me kill a shitload of animals. Not just these animals you see on the screen right here, but you're gonna find so many. These particular animals, for some reason, tend to like to spawn in this particular area. That's another reason this is a good hunting area. I don't know why they rapidly spawn like that. Just look out for the wolves, because, yeah, don't fuck with you while you're hunting. But hey, that's, that's extra meat, extra pelt. Works for me. Now one of the biggest reasons this is one of the best hunting spots in the game is because like I mentioned about this cabin over here, there is a reason this cabin is so special. You can actually sleep in this cabin, which is perfect because you don't have to leave your hunting ground. You can literally stay in the, I mean I know you could build a campsite, but I mean it's just very convenient to have a nice little hunting ground. So whenever you're done for hunting for the day, just sleep in, wake up in the morning, do a little bit more hunting, simple as that.
And of course, you can wake up to a very beautiful morning to stare out at the wilderness, a beautiful lake, have yourself a smoke, and just, well, you can sit down and relax and just enjoy your morning before you get set up for the day. Now, of course, when you're done with your smoke and your breakfast, go out and do a little bit more hunting. When you're finally done with your hunting trip, just go out and sell your shit. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a god blessed day. Be safe. Catch you later, Dub. Bye-bye. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, gosh damn it. Come on, man. All right, come here, asshole. I'm going to rip your butthole off. Dick. Horse, come here. Now, I'm supposed to trust your dumb ass in autopilot, but I can't trust shit with your dumb, stupid, whatever. You dumb animal, fuck you. Oh, what the fuck?